Good afternoon, everybody. This is Matt, a.k.a. the Lumberjack Landlord. We are here for segment two with Mike Zuber from One Rental at a Time. Michael, I am actually very excited to cover this because we do things very differently. Mm -hmm. And so I think that it will cover kind of both areas that people do. So what I'm talking about today with you is tax preparation. It's that lovely time of year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tax preparation. Yeah. Fun, 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 fun. Lots so of paperwork. having zero experience in working with a property manager, mm -hmm. zero, mm -hmm. um, talk to me a little bit what your process is like, how it's kind of evolved through the years and how you kind of get ready for that, you know, for tax season time. Yeah, so definitely evolved over time. Uh, again, we've had a property manager since day one. So I have zero experience self-managing, which I can only imagine the amount of paperwork. So uh, the beauty of our process is we have always taken uh, what is called their monthly reports, and we move them into our spreadsheets, right? So we've used the same, it basically it's a big worksheet. Every page or sheet is a different property because mm -hmm. when you are filing your taxes, your tax prepper will do it by property. Yes. So as we add properties, we just add worksheets. We copy the template. The template is uh, the IRS tax code. I forget what schedule E, I think it is. It is. All right. So it's we have that in the worksheet. We just copy it, make a new one when we buy a new property. Uh, so that then allows us to have a summary and then monthly expenses that roll up to that. In addition to that, our uh, company or our property manager sends us uh, now used to be physical copies when we started. Now we're scanned copies. Uh, so we have um, soft copies are saved in a hard drive of, of uh, all of our taxes. So we don't actually bring paper receipts, uh, but we have them saved. Uh, by month, by year, by property in a cloud hard drive and backed up if, if the IRS wants them. Sure. Uh, on top of that, we, uh, we still get expenses outside our properties, right? So the property manager probably in a year captures 90%, but there's always some things that we buy. Like for example, we're control freaks. So we pay our mortgages, we pay taxes, we pay our insurance, supplementals, which you get all the time. We pay. Occasionally, we have to buy stuff here that we bring there. We run a business, so uh, cell phone bills and you know office expenses and you know computers that we have to buy for our, our business. So uh, the fact is, we are pretty religious about doing a little bit of tax preparation every month, mm -hmm. which certainly makes it easier. And I think one time, I think we had eight or nine units, and we tried to do it all in January, and it was a disaster. Yeah. Disaster. Mm -hmm. So we have learned way back when, if we do about an hour monthly, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe 90 minutes in a bad month, if we're doing a couple of big remodels, uh, but the, again, it's about 60 minutes a month just to get ready. It is far easier come January. It's still, it's still not fun because we actually take our spreadsheet, which is very us, and then we put it in the one that our tax preparer wants. Because again, we've been doing this for 15 years. We know what he wants to see. Sure. Um, so we, we kind of transition. And also that's the time for us to look at, hey, how did we do? So we've tied it together, right? Every property, we as we're moving them, every property, we look at how did it do? How did it perform? That's why we sold a triplex uh, last year. Or actually, I guess it was a year before now. Because it just never performed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, um, it's required. I suggest getting... Adopting processes early. Uh, please do not do what we did after the first three or four years and wait till January. It's a mess. Um, now that I've been through actually a detailed IRS audit, I can tell you I'm thankful for the process of preparing monthly. Um, yeah, it's um, it's a required process, and I suggest spending a little time every month versus trying to catch up at the end. Yeah, I mean, we the the thing that's transitioned for us in the very beginning it was we did the same thing you did, waited until January, and then. Oh. Yeah. That was awful. And that was with, I think we were probably right around the same size as you guys when we were still doing that. We were probably like five or six. So we were a little bit smaller, um, but we had, but they were uh, triplexes. But so yeah, you're doing awful. self management. So you got all of these receipts and stuff. I couldn't imagine. Oh, right? it was awful. It was that's, awful. That's one reason I'm happy to pay a property manager is just the process of all collecting yeah. the receipts. I'm like, damn. That really changed. That really changed a lot for us in 2021. Was that's why we realized we have to evaluate rental management software. Yeah, because I'm sure. for yeah. for years we were doing 50 and 60 units for years in uh, Intuit Property Manager and product like that. It was decent, yeah. 
but it was a ton of data entry, but tax prep for us used to be about 150 to 150 hours. And so that, that so just to, just to, so that's you preparing to go see the accounts. Yes. Yeah, that's I literally would. prep of paperwork to, to drop off. Actually at that time it was about an inch stack. Yeah. So it was about an inch stack and that's not the, you know, we were never um, so flip about the activity that we would bring in the cigar box is what I would oh, call it. I hate that. Yeah. And I mean, I've seen bills for, I know guys that do the cigar box thing where they just like write something on it and they toss in a box and they bring that entire box of the accountant. That bill is eight to 10 to $12,000 when they do it that way. And they don't have nearly as many properties as we have. And so yeah. I'm just like, I couldn't write that check when I know you're just wasting time and money. So now we actually transitioned from, we used to basically spend like three hours every Thursday night hmm. on that stuff. And what I've actually found is that now with adding that many more properties on, it's really not even, it's not doable on that level unless you're doing it in software. Right. Where you can literally, when you go to do the activity, alert the tenant, create the maintenance note, whatever yeah. we're doing there, all of that workflow and process, I know that we miss things and don't take expense for things throughout the course of the year that we missed. Yeah. And it's just, and it's one of those functions because there's times where we'll go buy product for cash. Yeah. You know? Oh, it happens. Yeah. You know, where it's like, Hey, yeah, we we're, we're blowing this stuff out and we're doing it at cost. So we're not going to take a credit card. Right. Cause they want to pay the fee. I've done that. Exactly. Yeah. They want to pay the fee. So we'll buy X number of things, you know, for that amount. So one of the things that I think a lot of people need to recognize, holy heavens, hold on one second. One of the things that I think we really need to recognize from folks, I just need to put this on mute finally. One mm -hmm. of the things that people need to recognize really most importantly about this tax preparation is you need to be doing it steadily along the way. Number yes. one, because that's going to get your most accurate, mm -hmm. most accurate statement. Number two is even as important, it's also going to make sure that if something's going sideways in a building, you're going to start to see the trend. Exactly. That, that is why we have always done it monthly. Yes. Right. Our, our both Olivia and I have a, a kind of a numbers brain and we just had to see what was going on. Right. And that was our touch point. Again, remember we had property management two and a half hours away in the beginning. We'd go there a couple of times a month, no question, but just the ability to sit down in the beginning, it was like a half hour conversation over dinner, how to do what it do. Oh shoot. We had a water heater break, you know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you, you, you've, you've got to touch it monthly. Um, don't be so arrogant that you, can, you think you can do tax preparation in January. It, it will bite you. Uh, I, would, I would tell you to assume you're going to be audited every year. Uh, yeah. So make sure you're, you're tight on things. I'm sure we miss stuff as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, again, you know, we, we, I don't know, we probably spend 10 grand a month on property management fees. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'm... I've never been more thankful than hearing you talk about spending three hours every Thursday. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I mean, that's the three hours that we spend together. Cause then right. it's, yeah. it, then it's like, then she goes off and she then says, okay, now I got to get all this stuff in and this stuff in and this stuff in. But that was the big, that was the big push for us to finally get a property management software. Yeah. That was the big push for us. Well, that was one of the reasons I added him lane is one of my Great. experts. Right. Yeah. So I spoke with uh, Dana before she created software. Yeah, I think I think we had 100 units or 90 units at the time. And uh, yeah, it's fun to see what she's built over there. So yeah, it's yeah, uh, it, software is, I mean, I could, I, if I had had something, I wouldn't have the Excel spreadsheets today, but now I've got 20 years of history. Yeah, it's kind of wired. So well, it's funny, because I think so many of us start there. But now there's so many apps out there, right, that are free and on your phone, like yeah. Stessa and things like yeah. that, that are kind of that, you know, entry tier stuff. Um, get, get something for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Get, yes, exactly. Get something, but, but always remember the one thing that's most important. And this is coming from a data guy. The mm -hmm. one thing that's most important in my real life, the one thing that's most important is the ability to get the data out of the system. Correct. Because you will not always be on that system and you don't want them holding your data hostage and they don't say they do, but they can just by how they make it difficult to get your data out. So yeah run those even after you put all your information in there, make sure that you're able to run some sort of a report that gets you all of the information that you would need. That way you're not married to them as a vendor and they yep. can still work with you and still have a good product and still have good process. All of those things are really important, but what you really need to make sure you can do is get your data out. And I would be getting it out literally on a monthly basis, entering it all in, 
but then getting a report where you get it all out that way. And then at the end of the year, have a true up one big long one, but then yeah. really put, um, you know, really put that thing into perspective and make sure that you're doing the right things along that process. That way you're not stuck with them holding you to your data. Agreed. So Mike, where can everybody find you, my friend? One rental at a time, website, YouTube channel, Instagram, books, courses, all good stuff. Excellent. We always try and create good content for you. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Love to have you guys hang out with us. Also Sunday mornings, we have Mr. and Mrs. Lumberjack, 8 p.m. Eastern time and 11.30 a.m. Eastern time on Sundays. I do about three hours. We'll be doing it again this Sunday. Just hanging out, answering questions, and it's a good time. And what's really cool now is there's so many people that are so experienced that a lot of them can answer a lot of other folks' questions. It's amazing it's really what just, we're building. Yeah. It's it's awesome. It's it's uh, Garth Brooks always said his favorite part was when he would have the audience singing his song that he wrote back to him. He mm -hmm. said that's the best part of it as an artist. And so for us, that's kind of what we see in some cases when we're seeing them use some of the calculations and see see them doing some of the things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's the ultimate flattery, but it also helps us keep going because mm -hmm. frankly, we don't do this for the money. <laughs> uh, yeah. God. <laughs> Yeah. Amen it's to not, that. It's not about that. So Mike, thanks so much for the time. Look forward to segment number three. You got it.